with reaction. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham is with us. Senator, as I mentioned in my monologue, no conservative or Republican would ever support what is reported that he denies Mark Robinson is accused of, of saying. Nobody that I know of would. would. Um, now, it's interesting because both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris have gone on record, Trump many, many years ago, Kamala during COVID, praising P. Diddy, and he's now involved in a, accused of horrible sex crimes. And I could say with a high degree of certainty, Senator, I don't believe either one of them knew a, a thing about what P. Diddy was doing. And I'm just being honest. And nobody seems to care about, about uh, the fact that Kamala's past support for Jussie Smollett and that hoax. Nobody seems to care that, you know, uh, she had a, a California pastor friend of her who blamed 9-11 on America after the attack. Even Nancy Pelosi left that sermon. Or that pastor was invited to give the DNC convention prayer. Uh, or Kamala's favorite preacher you know, said that Christianity, another one has said, was hijacked by white supremacy. That person got hired by the campaign. Or that Tim Walls, he prays on a Muslim cleric from Minnesota who celebrated the October 7th attacks and shared pro-Hitler propaganda. But the difference is, is in North Carolina, they're running ads trying to tie Donald Trump, who I'm pretty certain knew nothing because most people in North Carolina didn't seem to know about any of these controversial statements. You're in South Carolina. Did you ever hear of it before? Because I hadn't. So I can't turn my TV on in South Carolina. I live uh, in the Greenville area. So we get Charlotte TV and uh, it, we're just inundated with ads tying Robinson to Trump. Donald Trump endorsed Robinson. Donald Trump had no knowledge about the CNN report. We don't know if it's true, but Robinson needs to address the allegations in that report. They're unnerving. If they're true, he is unfit for office. Uh, if they're true, if they're untrue, he should sue CNN. Donald Trump didn't do anything with Mark Robinson. What if we ran an ad against Waltz because his preacher said something about praising the attack of 9-11? What, what if we ran an ad saying he said something nice about a cleric who celebrated October the 7th. They would kick the crap out of us because we would be having guilt by association. That's exactly what's going on in uh, North Carolina now. It is guilt by association. And while they're doing it, they can't talk about anything else. When Trump left office, mortgage rates in North Carolina were 2.5%. They're over 6% today. So if you live in North Carolina and you have a $250,000 house with a mortgage on it, your payments have gone up $600 a month since Harris and Biden have been in office. Gas is up. Groceries are up. So they're talking about Mark Robinson trying to smear Trump because they can't tell the people of North Carolina why they're better off in the last four years. This is really a hit job. It is unconscionable. And if we did this to them, it would be blowing up the entire mainstream media. Well, why don't they bring up the issue of Kamala Harris and the two pastors, the one that blamed 9-11 on America yeah. days after the attack? Um, even Nancy Pelosi condemned it or the same pastor invited to give the DNC convention prayer or another of Kamala's favorite preachers saying Christianity has been hijacked by white supremacy. And by the way, the yeah. vice president's never been asked about it. She doesn't allow yeah. people to ask questions. Well, well, right. Even after right. she was hired by she was hired by the campaign. Um, you know, I would well, say an ad associating her with those people would be appropriate in North Carolina about today. <laughs> well, it's actually her preacher. But the point is that when somebody says something and I've, I have a relationship with them, I don't own all of that. The reason we're not running these ads is that there would be a firestorm that is unfair. It would be unfair to say that but somebody you wrote a letter about or even your own pastor, you own every stupid thing they did. We'd be crucified politically if we did that. That's literally their campaign in North Carolina is trying to make people believe that Donald Trump somehow is involved with, Mar uh, with the Robinson guy. Donald Trump knew nothing about this. I knew nothing about it. They're trying to guilt by association. He's if been you're a Republican, governor. you own Mark Robinson. For three years, and I'd never heard anything remotely like this. The guy's like lieutenant this, but... governor for three years. This CNN yeah. report came out on the day 
before uh, you could replace somebody about five o'clock in the afternoon. Now, whether it's true or not, yeah. I don't know. But Robinson needs to give us something to hang our head on if it's not true, because if it is true, he's unfit. But I'm not going to sit by and watch Donald Trump be smeared yet again. This is literally guilt yeah. by association. It needs to stop. Well, either the, stop it or play the same game. All right, let me tell you yeah, about Yeah, today. run a the bunch of ads saying, what do you think about, uh, you mm -hmm. know, having a preacher who celebrated October the 7th attack on Israel is a good thing. What do you think about that? Or 9-11. All right, earlier yeah. today, the Pentagon oh, no, no, did no. announce that they're sending a, a small number of additional U.S. military personnel to the Middle East, which, by the way, she said we didn't have troops in a war zone in the debate. That was not true. But anyway, the move comes as tensions are building after Israel launched a series of defensive strikes against Hezbollah and targets in Lebanon after they've been firing missile, hundreds of missiles into Israel and also making clear that it is battling the terrorist organization, not the nation of Islam or its people, warning people to get out of uh, out of the way. Now, the left. They don't believe in Israel's right to defend itself. Barack Obama's former CIA director, Leon Panetta, had the gall to say Israel is engaging in terrorism against the terror group Hezbollah. Wow. They're the ones firing missiles at Israel. What are they supposed to do? You, you hit terrorists before they hit you. If you don't, you're going to lose your people. So remember what I say right now. Iran, Iran, Iran. There is no Hezbollah without Iran. There's no Hamas without Iran. Donald Trump had the Iranians in a box. The two dumbest decisions in modern times were to withdraw from Afghanistan. That's what Biden and Harris did. It set every jihadist on steroids. And to allow the sanctions to be relieved against Iran, they were selling 300,000 barrels of oil a day when Trump left office, over a million a day now. $80 billion in revenue from sanctions relief given to the Iranian Ayatollah by Biden and Harris. They've taken that $80 billion. They funded Hamas, Hezbollah, and put it into their war machine. We're reaping what Biden has sown. The people of Israel are reaping the bad policy choices of Biden and Harris. The chickens have come home to roost with this idea of coddling the Ayatollah. He's not normal. He's a religious Nazi. He wants to kill all the Jews. He wants to purify Islam and come after us. And Harris will continue these insane policies. When Bibi spoke to the joint session of Congress, she would not even sit behind him as the vice president. She let the left tell her yeah. where to go and what to do. So to my, to my friends in Israel, tell Iran, if you get hit hard by Hezbollah, you're going to put the Iranians out of the oil business. Let's go to the root of all evil, the great Satan, the Iranians. To my friends in Israel, knock out the oil refineries of Iran uh, to get them off your back. Oh, I'd add one more to Afghanistan and Iran. That would be the open borders that allows Amen. the people Amen. with known terror ties, murderers, rapists, uh, other violent criminals, and then give yeah. them free housing, health care, education, <laughs> and a sex change uh, surgery if you want one. Senator yeah, Graham, thank you.